Hey, it's Kat here, and today we are going to be learning the waistcoat stitch. This is one of my absolute favorite stitches because it looks knitted, but I can't knit, so it's a nice little dupe for that knitted look. Waistcoat stitch is usually worked in the round, so think hats, sleeves, socks, and anything tube shaped. You can do it in panels, but it just doesn't look as neat. I'm going to show you very simply how to do the waistcoat stitch in the first part of this video, and then in the second part, I'm going to show you how to build up to it. So it's essentially the same as a single crochet stitch, but instead of putting your hook into just underneath here, you're gonna put it into this V here. So instead of doing that and pulling up, you're gonna go straight into this V. So let's do that now. Just on my last stitch, and I'm gonna go straight through into that V it might be a little bit tight, that's why you need a little bit of a bigger hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through. I've got two loops on my hook and you can see that the yarn is coming out of that V. And then I'm just going to yarn over and pull through those two loops that are on my hook. And there we go, that's the waistcoat stitch. So I'm going to carry on just going into those V's and it's exactly the same as single crochet except going through the middle of the stitch instead of the top of the stitch. That is what means you'll get this nice knitted type look and if your hook is big enough then it will, it will kind of like have a nice stretch to it so it's nice for a hat or um, anything that you can work in the round. This would make a really, really nice hat actually. I love this yarn, so let me know in the comments. If you'd like me to make a hat using the stitch, then let me know and I'll make that for you and show you how to do it because it's actually quite easy. All it is is just really similar to single crochet. Whoops. And it's nice and repetitive. So you don't have to think too much, which is always good. I'm going to be using some chunky yarn with a 10 millimeter hook. So this stitch is quite tight, so you want to make sure that the hook that you use is a couple of sizes bigger than what is stated on your yarn label. I'm gonna make a chain. It's worked in the round, so it can be used for like a hat, gloves, etc. And I want to say because it's a tight stitch that this is why we need a bigger hook. So when you have your circumference of whatever you're making, um, you and you are going to go back into that first stitch. Okay, so you've got the chain of however many. You go back into the first stitch and then you are going to do a slip stitch into there. So then you're going to just, for row one, you would just do a normal single crochet all the way around. So we've got two, three, So now I'm back to where I started with a single crochet. See this is the top line of stitches. We normally go underneath these two like this. So we go underneath like that, pull up and pull through. But with a waistcoat stitch, you are going to go through the middle of the stitch. You're gonna see where that V is. Underneath, there's gonna be a V here with these two here, one, two. And that V is kind of like buried in the middle but it comes to the outside quite easily and then also with a waistcoat stitch all you need to do instead of a single crochet like you would do normally you're going to go instead of putting your hook under here you're going to go into the middle of the V so let me show you 
gonna go through like that and then pull up a loop and then just like you would with single crochet you're gonna pull through and then the next V is here so you're gonna do it again and then your next V is just here once you've spotted them it's quite easy to spot the next one oops Pull up, pull through. Okay. So it's just like single crochet, but you're going right into the middle of the V. Right in here. And pulling up. And because it's quite a kind of a tight stitch, I've done the stitches with a larger hook. And if in doubt, just go into the middle of the V. And when you get back to the start, Even then, start again. So you can go into the next V. So the next round, you can start off exactly the same by going into the next V. So I've started a new round now. So I've got two Vs going up. Can you see? If you need any more help with this, please comment below and I'd be happy to take you through it. It's just kind of getting your bearings with it and getting it how you want. But this is why people call it the knit stitch because it, it looks like knitting, but it's not actually knitting. It's just a type of stitch and it looks gorgeous, I think. I just think it looks really, really nice. in the comments what you would like to make with this hats are brilliant for with it so it's kind of got a bit of flex yeah this is lovely and I'm so glad I used the bigger hook because it's really effective this way because otherwise it gets too tight there we go and just carry on going around till you've made something really <laughs> If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I would absolutely love that. I bring out new videos all the time. If you like videos like this, then you'll love this video in which I actually make a hat with the waistcoat stitch, but it's a little bit smaller than this. I'll see you there.